Life Street Stars. We in here with Chris P from Coastside. What's going down? What's up? Man. Talk to me, man. We've been we've been rocking for, for some years, man. I remember playing dominoes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Talking about uh different artists and shit that used to come on the TV, man. We used to sit at, uh we was in Richland College, right? And uh I wanna say uh around that time was around two thousand. Yeah, we're around 2000, around 2000. Okay, yeah, you know, I don't like to, you know, date myself, but yeah. <laughs> but shit, uh, t tell us how you got started. Um, me, uh, back in 2005, me and my business partner, Vincent Tucker, um, we started, uh, actually we first started managing a rapper. Um, and from there, they didn't really work out, but we ended up promoting local uh, open mics. Uh, we got down with Kundalini, rest in peace. Shout out to Cole, man. Oh. Yeah, with uh, Metro Music The Union. Uh, we did that for about, let's say about a year and a half, two years. Um, after that, Vince ended up getting his own radio show. So I, I was working a full-time job at the time. So they would record on Saturdays. So I would just kind of just do like the behind the scenes stuff since I had to be at work on Saturdays. Uh, but from there, um, I then got approached by a friend to do my own radio show, and I did a, a radio show at Deep Elm on Air for three and a half years. Um, in that process, I was going to school at UNT. I ended up with a journalism degree. Uh, Vince linked me up with KG a Cosign. It kind of seemed like a, a natural fit. I went to school for writing. This is like the premier magazine in the city. So I submitted something to uh, Cosign. They liked it. They're like. Hey, you can whenever you want to submit anything, just let me know. You know, we'll we'll put you on the web. We'll put you in the magazine. It's like all right. So that relationship just built, and I've been down with the team for like four years now. I think four and a half maybe, um, and I'm the editor in chief of Cosine Magazine now. Okay, explain the the duties of editor in chief. Um, everything that goes uh, into the issue uh, comes through me. Um, I will edit it, um, I will scrap it if it's not good, um, I'll beef it up if I need to, um, but my role is kind of more than just editor-in-chief, I kind of do everything that we need to do. I mean, if KG can't do it, I'm going to do it. So, but like really, this interview. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I said like the interview. <laughs> Shout out KG. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, KG was actually supposed to be here tonight, but you know, um, we're actually, we have a big event coming this weekend, so He's got some logistical shit he's working out. He's like, hey, man, can you come take care of the interview? I was like, sure, yeah, of course. I mean, he's my people, too, so there's no problem. And it's in the north, and I live in the north, so it's like short drive, too. Yeah. Shout out to that knock down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, one of the things that you guys have, you, ha you actually have a print uh, medium, and you also have digital content that Correct. you guys provide. Um, explain the difference between the two. Okay, so um, print... Print is more of the timeless, uh, not time sensitive uh, articles that we'll write. Um, is we're not gonna put like, oh, what happened at the club this weekend or this concert. Uh, maybe we'll cover a festival. We might put it in the issue, but uh, it's the issue, the print is more so the, I guess the more, the deeper interviews, not, right. you know, when we're actually talking, we, we, we tell stories, we tell people stories, and usually that's what makes the, the, the issue. Now, a lot of times we have a lot of good content and it's hard to figure out what's gonna make it, so a lot of times things don't make it, so we'll throw it up on the web. Uh, but we also have something, a uh, campaign that we got going on right now called A Thousand Cosigns, and basically the goal is to, to cosign a thousand people who may or may not get the shine that they deserve. Entrepreneurs, different creatives, people who are doing interesting stuff, people who have interesting stories. So uh, we've been doing that since the beginning of the year. That's dope. Yeah, and then we'll throw a couple of those into the issue uh, every time we drop, we drop quarterly, so. Yeah, and, that, and that's interesting, right, um, with print. Um, you know, we live in such a digital age. Um, how, how are you able to, to stay relevant in, a, in that type of you know, society? Okay, so. Uh, myself and KG, I, I've named dropped KG a few times. KG is the founder of Cosign Magazine. Uh, we, we discussed this. I mean, print is supposed to be dead. Um, I think that so many people have bought into the brand. Um, we do, we're, we've become tastemakers in the city. 
So I think when people see that, you know, we co-sign people, I mean, that means something. So maybe I'm rambling, but I think people have, have bought into the brand and it, it still blows my mind that, you know, we, we're still able to sell physical printed uh, magazines in 2017, but we always still have our issues. Um, people support us, I think probably because we support people. I mean, that's what the magazine is about. It's called Cosign for a reason. It's because we co-sign either things, events, people, movements, and so people show the love back. Yeah, and um, you know, uh, I mean, I know we've uh, seen y'all at a lot of different events. You guys been in the streets grinding forever, and I know you guys have quality work. So well, it's, it's definitely, uh, especially the, the videos and, and everything you guys do has been uh, quality. So I think that also helps, and you might be one of the only magazine companies know, that, right? uh, that's, that's out here or even attempts to do it. Um, what are some of the things that the, the actual magazine features? Um, I always have like a, I always have, I've learned my, my spiel. Uh, we cover fashion, lifestyle, art, music, and entrepreneurship. Um, we do cover some sports, but when we cover sports, we try to do outside of the game, more so like what athletes are doing with their money. Um, really, it's all about people's stories, but th that's kind of the lanes we, we focus on, the different, right. the fashion, the music, not so much music. A lot of times uh, we get artists approach us, be like, "Hey, I want to be down with the magazine. I want to be, in, I want to get interviewed." I'm like, you know, that's cool. We we have some of that, but I think a lot of times uh, people get confused, think we're a music magazine, but really we're more of a lifestyle magazine. Got gotcha. you. Culture magazine. Got gotcha. you. That's dope. Oh, uh, you know, me personally, like um, doing videos and things actually opened up my eyes to a lot of things that the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex has that I never knew existed, like battle rap. Um, like you say, some of the shows that you go to. Right. What are some of the things that, that you've been able to see for yourself doing the cosign that you did not know existed in Dallas? That's hard because I came from the, from the entertainment scene. Oh, okay. Um, but I've been able to go to a lot of cool stuff. Um, my lane and the cosign lane were, well, I won't say lane, Our, my circle and the cosign circle at one point weren't the same. So when which which helps me out because you know I got people from this era in my media days and this era in my media days so I move around the city pretty well uh, when I used to do radio my name was Chris P local celebrity it's kind of like a it was gaudy people remember but really it was because I knew people all around the city but when I got with Cosign it was just a different just a different group of people different I got to see different artists that I probably wouldn't have seen when I was doing the radio show when I was doing uh, Metro Music um, so I don't think I've seen anything that is like right. different, but I've, got, I've gotten to do a lot of cool stuff. So what, is, what are some of the top three things that you've gotten to do that are cool? Like, like somebody listening to this interview that may not be, you know, might not know about the Dallas scene. What are some of the things that they can get into? Like a fashion show, where, where do they have these fashion shows? Um, um, well, we've, this will be our third fashion show we're doing this weekend for our anniversary, uh, our six year anniversary. Uh, in the past, we did them at Gas Monkey Live. We did it at 6500, and this year it's at IQ House in the Design District. Um, so definitely big shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's our signature event in the summertime. Um, it's our anniversary event this year. It's a little bit more expanded. We can talk about that. But uh, uh, what was he said? The top three things. Yeah, like just like the top three things that a person um, might might not know about that they probably should be hitting up. Like some, um, some cool stuff like well we travel so gotcha. it gives me the opportunity to go to different festivals different out-of-town events um, I think that if you're not really up on what's going on around the country <clears throat> um, we go there and show folks so and we'll put it in the issue we'll put it on the website so I guess that's something that kind of opens people's eyes to different things uh, South by A3C BT experience in LA um, just all different types of of traveling like that. Um, as for in the city, um, I think that there are a lot of, I think our music scene kind of suffers because I think it's very divided. I mean, you either, you follow these artists in this lane or you might follow these artists in that lane. Um, if you go to CosignMag.com, you may see somebody you're like, damn, he's dope. I didn't even know he was from the city. So yeah, <laughs> I think we, I th and, and with producers too, uh, yeah, I think we, I think we kind of do well to, to a little, to show a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and it kind of, I guess, diversifies people's palettes, I guess. Yeah. 
That's cool. I don't know if I answered the question. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, I guess so. Uh, how can people get the magazine? Where where um, can they go to, okay, to grab so that? Okay, so we do a lot of events. Uh, we do a monthly event called Cosign Live. It's usually at Off the Record. Uh, what it is is a live panel interview. We'll have people from different lanes. Uh, we've had PR people. We've had videographers. We've had uh, social media uh, experts. And we'll do that. It's like the third or fourth Thursday of the month. Forgive me for not knowing which one it is. But uh, so whenever we do that, we'll have like a little uh, merchandise booth. Uh, we'll sell magazines. We'll sell T-shirts, hats, just different stuff. Um, we hit a lot of different events. We'll have a merch table set up, but usually we have our own pop-up events. Whenever we release an issue, we'll have an issue release party. Um, there are a few boutiques here and there across town that will carry the, uh, the issue. Uh, we also sell them online. You can either order a digital copy or you can order a physical copy and it'll be sent to you. That's what's up, man. So how many issues do you guys have out right now? Uh, we are about to drop issue 21. Um, we just finished working on that. It should be dropping this weekend for our anniversary celebration. Um, so yeah, it'll be issue 21. Man, that's yep. dope, man. Six years in the game, man. Yeah. Six years in the game, man. Any shout outs that you gonna give? Um, shout out to everybody who, who, who supports us, man. I mean, it's a hard grind. I mean, you know, we're not gonna front. I mean, we did a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of hard work, but I mean, we love what we do and we appreciate the love that everybody gives us. Um, shout outs, uh, anybody who's coming to the Coastline Experience this weekend. I don't know, I don't know when this is gonna air. Maybe it airs after, is it before or after? When, when, when is it, this weekend? This weekend, yeah. yeah. it's probably gonna air before. <laughs> before? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so July 13th, Thursday, we're having our Cosign Live. It's actually a double uh, interview panel. Um, Double, double header because it's the Coastal Experience weekend. Uh, it's an off the record, 6.30 to 9.30, Thursday night in Deep Ellum. And then uh, Saturday we have a pretty full, pretty full schedule. We have a Trill Yoga. We have a young lady who is uh, kind of a big deal in yoga. Uh, she's done yoga with LeBron, with Common. She's gotten uh, all types of uh, media coverage from around the world. Um, she's coming down to do our yoga, we're having a yoga class, she's instructing it. We have a boot camp after that. In the evening we have what we call uh, La Vida Cosine. It is a culture exhibit of Latin America. Uh, KG, our founder, is Panamanian, so he likes to, to you know, show the whole uh, Hispanic side as well. So it'll be food, dance, music, art. And then Sunday, the big, the big finale, the the, the, the signature event is the Coastline Experience Fashion and Art Show. Um, it's at 6 o'clock, 6 to 10 at IQ House. All the events are at IQ House except for Thursday, which is on, on, at, on the record. But uh, it's the biggest thing going on in the city Sunday night. Y'all are free. Come out. Yeah, it might uh, pop up. Yeah. Uh, where is hit, it? And where is IQ House? IQ House is in, the, is in the design district off of Dragon Street. Okay, and that's what part of the city? Uh, it's like... Dallas forward. It's, it's Dallas. Cute. It's okay, like okay. uptown-ish. It's gotcha. like off of Riverside, north of north of downtown. There you go, man. If y'all out Sunday night, man, pop up, man. Show Please them do. love, man. Show them love, man. Oh uh, man, uh, give me your social media uh, before you get out. I'm sure okay. Cosign. Is gonna um, be the magazine is at Cosign Mag uh, <laughs> on everything, pretty much. Uh, my personal is CP Local Celeb on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. Um, and our and my guy, KG, his is uh, Cosign KG on all of the social media. So check us out, follow us. Uh, we'll keep you in the loop of what's going on. Uh, even if, if it's not with us, we, we have an event calendar and we post everybody's events. So. Yeah, man, one of the best exactly. magazine companies out here doing their thing. We've we done appreciate it. Took pictures at several events, man. Hey, hey y'all follow them, show them love, man. Real Life Street Stars, we out of here, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Shout out Real Life Street Stars, nigga. Move. Hey.